Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a uh, Corel Draw tutorial. I haven't done one of those in a while. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a logo with text and we're going to be using a lightning bolt. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and open up uh, Corel Draw. Okay, we're going to come up here to File. We're going to say New, New 8.5 by 11. Okay. Now we're going to bring in our lightning bolt and go import. Okay, we're going to click. So the first thing we want to do is trace that. So we're going to right mouse click on it and then we're going to go to outline trace and select detailed logo. And I'm going to let it draw and we're going to click OK. Now we're going to drag this off. This one on the right is our uh, traced image. This is the raster image. So. And in order to tell those apart, you could come up here to view and say wireframe, and it will show you vector, raster image. Can't really do anything with that other than size it. So we'll go ahead and hit delete. Uh, we're going to drag a marquee around the bolt, and then we're going to scale it down by holding down the shift key and clicking on one of these little boxes up in the corner. So. Um, we're going to do a logo called Bolt Industries. So we want to do B-O-L-T. It's going to be our, our uh, text. <clears throat> now we're going to copy that and paste. And then we'll drag this down. Then we're going to type Industries. Okay, so first thing... <clears throat> we want to do is go ahead, excuse me, go ahead and change that font there. We're going to change it to a, a Swiss, to a <clears throat> bold font like this. Or maybe we might even use uh, Arial. Let's see, Swiss, BT, black. No, I think black will be good. Okay, so we're going to blow that up a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this <clears throat> Excuse me, we're going to cut that circle right there. So in order to do that, to trim stuff out in Corel Draw, you have to actually uh, convert it to curves. So this one, first we're going to work on this. So we'll go ahead and uh, come up here to select it, come up here to Objects, and we're going to say Convert to Curves or Control plus Q. Okay, now we have this right here which is curves. Now we need to break apart the curves. So with that bolt selected we're going to come up to object and we're going to go break apart curves. And Now we're going to come up here to view and we're going to view by normal. Now don't be alarmed if it if your logo goes uh, you, you lose the center pieces. Uh, we're going to combine it back up and then you're going to be able to have that those parts. So what I want to do now is go to view wireframe so I can see and then I want to take this piece out of the middle. I'm going to go ahead and draw, put that bolt right there in the center. Let's move it over a little bit, move it down. Okay, so you're going to do something like this. So you're going to take that, you're going to select that bolt, the lightning bolt. You're going to come over here to your shaping tab. And if your shaping tab's not open, I believe you could come up here to, uh, uh, let's go over here, try to find where it is. I think it's under the windows, and it should be under uh, symbol, under your dockers. So go to windows, go to dockers, and then scroll down to shaping right here and then just make sure it's checked and then it'll show up over here okay so what we want to do is we want to trim so we're going to take off the weld and select trim now we're going to come over here and trim this from here so now we've got this and then we're going to get rid of this bolt in the center here or actually undo Control z let's click on just the bolt we're going to drag that out of the way. So now you have, we don't need this circle anymore. Get rid of this. So we're going to go to view, normal. So now you have this bolt going through the bolt industries. So now we're going to, to put these little two white circles back, you want to go ahead and highlight 
both you want to drag a marquee around everything so and then you want to come up here to objects and you want to say combined or control L and then you're gonna it's gonna put it back so um, I'm not sure whether I want to put this over here at the end like this or just that's enough right there okay we're gonna delete that and this one we want to go ahead and um, we're gonna make this Swiss Swiss BT uh, heavy bold and then we're going to give it a small or smaller point size like maybe 50 so type up here and then type in 50 <clears throat> now we're going to put that right there I'm going to add some what they call a spacing or letting letting is uh, in between letters like words and spacing is between individual letters so we're just going to drag this out here uh, go ahead and go to there. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn, reorientate my page to landscape. And then we're going to drag this logo down to here. Go ahead and uh, blow it up. Okay, this is going to be the R logo. Now, if we wanted to change this circle color, you want to select it. We could come up here to uh, break apart, break apart curve. And then we want to say make this this piece up here maybe make it a blue and then make that black so now you have a logo bolt industries so it's real easy to do logos like this in Corel draw we're gonna put some guides right here so we make sure that this is the correct size and we'll just drag it out to there and then um, we can get rid of these guides here so this is going to be our Bolt Industries logo. Uh, super easy to make stuff like this and to trim things. Um, now we're going to go, what else are we going to, can we do to this? We could probably make this, change that to a color too. Go like that. Okay, that's going to end uh, in today's tutorial on CorelDRAW, how to create a uh, Bolt Industries logo. Uh, we basically learned how to uh, type out the text, how to uh, select the text, and how to create, um, convert to curves. We learned to break apart the text, and then we learned to combine the text, and then we learned to do uh, the, use the trace feature. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully you found this lesson, uh, this lesson interesting, and, uh, and you got something out of the, out of the lesson, or out of the tutorial. Okay, thanks for watching.